welcome everyone in this lesson we're going to look at the effect of k on a trigonometric function k changes the period of the function what it does it compresses the function that you have more waves or it stretches the function that you have more waves the graph will be given in a form of y is equal to sine kx x standing for an angle cos kx or tan kx how do you find that you will divide the x values of the original equation by k so you're gonna take your k divide every x coordinate of the function and then you get the new function when you are asking a question paper to find the period and then you look at your question paper, you find that k has been changed, it's not 1. You're going to find the new period by dividing the original period by k. Then you find the new period. We're going to look at an example now of where they ask you to sketch a graph where they've changed k. Let's look at an example. Okay, this is an example of a question that you might get in a question paper says sketch the graph of y is equal to cos 2x in an interval where x is greater than 0 and x is less than minus 1 greater or equal to 0. Right, you look at the function, it is a cos function, so you're going to write the interval, the x intercept for the x, the cos, the starting at an interval, we're starting at 0 degrees, uh, restriction, then the next one is 90. The next one is 180. Right. Now, we're going to take our calculator and divide this values with our k, which is 2. So we're going to have 0 divided by 2 and get 0. zero 90 divided by 2 and get 45 degrees. 180 divided by 2 and get 90 degrees. These are our new x values. But the problem now, they are not following the restriction. The restriction says our graph must go up to 180. So here our graph goes up to 90. So we need to add. Now when you look at the interval here, you see that our graph goes 45, 45, 45. So from 90, we'll have 135. From 185, we get 180. Then we are at the correct interval. Then now we write the intercept. Let's write the intercept for the original one. For the original one, the cos 0 and 1. Then from 1 it goes to 0. From 0 it goes to minus 1. So now what you do with the new intercept you take whatever you have there one zero zero minus one then you follow the pattern the graph will go from zero to minus one it means it went up down so from minus one it will go to zero and then from zero it will go to one right now this is the function Oh, our function, our restriction started at 0, so we're not going to have x values that are less than 0. So our function can start from 0 like that. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have 1 minus 1. Okay, the first coordinate is 0 and 1. The next coordinate 45 or oh, did you write this one 45 degrees then we have 90 degrees 135 degrees then 180 degrees zero and 45 here 90 and minus one 90 and minus one there 130 and zero and one Join the graph. 
So this graph will look like that. When you remember the period of the original period of the cost graph of the standard form was 180, you'd complete one wave at 360, not 180, you'd complete one wave at 360. But when it's compressed like this, the wave is completed at 180. So the, the effect of K, it will either stretch the graph if it's a fraction here, or it will compress it if it's a whole number. So it will compress by the um, fraction of that. So you need to practice these graphs because in a question paper, they will give you the questions where they change more than one thing. They will change A and change P. They will change A and change K in one question. So you need to practice each one of them. And then you know that when they change A and change P, I change A first, have new coordinates, and then I change P, then I draw. So it won't be a problem in an exam if you have practiced each function separately. That's the end of our lesson. Thank you.